everyone, it's Kevin with Barnes Wildlife Control. We are here today in Middletown, Ohio at this church on a monumental rodent job that we are dealing with here. You can see this building is just massive. Uh, they called us out because they heard some scratching noises and a drop ceiling. When I got here and did the inspection a couple days ago, I popped one drop ceiling tile off and uh, had a walnut fall out and hit me in the head. There was quite a bit of squirrel and mouse feces in the ceiling and you know things like that with the rodents. So. We went ahead and set them up with some cages. We got two caught today. I'm gonna to show you that here a little bit later on on the video. We did go ahead and get all the repairs approved and we're gonna start that probably next week uh, when we know all the squirrels are out. We're gonna do some things for them for their uh, mouse problem as well. So if you need anything with animals, call Bronze Wildlife. We'll come out, get you taken care of. Well, right here, squirrel number one. We got two here today, so you can kind of see the positive set here. He curled up and had chewed around the framing of this window. I actually watched him yesterday when I came here for a trap check, climb straight up this brick wall. And you can see we're, we're pretty high. He climbed straight up this brick wall and went in a hole right here. So I look at him trying to get out. So I uh, went ahead and set a positive set and got him. So before he gets that door open and gets out, he's a smart one. I'm gonna get him transferred over into a, uh, another cage and get this one reset. just so you guys can kind of get an idea of the things that these animals can do. You can see a bird feeder here really close to the building. Uh, I've already talked to the building management about this. That, you know, if your passion's watching birds, by all means do it. Just move it a little away from the building. This is just asking for rodent problems, mice, squirrels, things like that. You can see I got a squirrel cage here right at the bottom of it. Uh, when I came here yesterday, like I said, I watched that squirrel we just removed. Uh, climbed the brick wall. He was actually ignoring this cage completely, obviously because he has all the bird seed he wants to eat. There is no reason for him to go in that cage. And just so you can get an idea of how high they can climb, he went all the way up this brick wall to that cage. It's about 22 feet. So here's uh, number two for the day. Got him in another positive set. Uh, you can see he didn't have far to go. He's only up about seven feet. You can see this building's got these decorative sheet metal boxes around their downspouts. Makes it look pretty nice. You can see there's another positive set on that one. Problem is they were put in wrong. Uh, once you get up over top of that brick, those boxes go directly into the ceiling of the building. And obviously these animals were taking advantage of it. So I'm gonna get him transferred over into another cage, get this reset and be on to the next. Well, there's both of our customers from today transferred over into transport cages and out of our positive sets. Everything's reset at this job and ready to go until we come in and do the permanent repairs. So remember guys, you need anything with animal issues, call us at Barnes Wildlife. We'll come get you taken care of. Find us on the web, barneswildlifecontrol.com. As remember, it's your house, not theirs. All right, here we are back on my property now. These are the two squirrels we got from Middletown earlier. Uh, in Ohio, we can legally relocate squirrels on the private property. So I'm going to turn these guys loose as long as they remember one thing. They need to remember, guys. You two listen up. This is my house, not yours. Go on. There goes one. Go. There he goes. Oh, there they go. 